friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by and visiting with me today and hanging out for just a little bit. I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. It is Whip Wednesday, so tell me in the comments what you are working on today. Whether it's a crochet project, knit, loom knit, diamond painting, working outside in your yard, or whatever. Just let me know what you're working on. What's keeping you busy today on this Wednesday? So today I am making a little doll hat to fit this little doll right here. She is a Penny Bright doll from the 60s. And I want to make a hat to go with her little dress here. So I'm using this blue. And I just thought I would just show you guys how I make a doll hat. Um, now I'm using a 4.0 crochet hook. But it doesn't matter what size hook you're using or what size yarn you use. I'm just showing you how to do it. And you make it according to fit your doll. So you can use a smaller hook and smaller yarn. I'm just showing you how that I come you know get there <laughs> so I chain two and then I do six single crochets back in the first chain but some people do um, a magic ring and put six single crochets in there and that is fine three uh, four five and six and I'm going to use a stitch marker if I find one up here I'm going to use a stitch marker right here so I can keep up with my last stitch some people like to put their stitch marker in the first stitch of the round I put mine in the last there's no right or wrong way to do it just do whatever you're comfortable doing Okay, so I put mine in the last, and then the second round, I'm doing two single crochets in every stitch. So I started out with six stitches. At the end, I will have 12 in this round. Three, four... five and six seven eight nine and ten and the last of eleven and twelve i do want to say if you missed it this morning there was a video from me and big daddy about the etsy shop and the cups and all that kind of stuff so that should answer like questions um the cups are sold for this week but there will be 25 cups listed again this coming up monday so um you can check out that video and hopefully that'll answer all your questions all right, so now I'm on round three, and I need to increase. Now, if you're doing a very, very small doll, like a um, Barbie doll, let me just see if I have a little doll over here that's small. Huh, I was looking to see what the smallest doll I have over here. Okay, here's a little doll. If you were doing a very small doll, you would just figure out what, how big you need to make your circle to go on top. That might would be okay for her. A Barbie might would need another round. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have one laying here beside me. But the idea is you just keep laying it on top of your doll's head until you feel like you have the right size. So I am on round three. I did a single crochet and then I did a increase in each stitch that brought me up to 12. Now I'm going to do a double crochet, not double, <laughs> an increase 
of two single crochets in the first and then one single crochet in the next and then an increase in the next stitch which is two single crochets together and then one and that's just what I'm doing all the way around this so I hope you're having good weather wherever you are we're having some pleasant weather it's not hot it's not cold <laughs> it's just right and two yeah big daddy and i recorded a couple of videos last night one of them is a happy meal video that will be coming out tomorrow and one of them was an etsy video which was put out this morning um today is wednesday and so it did come out this morning if you missed that you can check back you know check check back in my videos and find this morning's video it should be the one before this one all right okay and um i'm gonna try to close that if i can all right so i know for my doll i need to do another round so I'm going to go ahead and do an increase again for this next round and then I'm going to do two single crochets in a row one and one in the next and then I'm going to do an increase and one in the next stitch and one in the next stitch so I'm just doing that all the way around for this row. And I increase. Just making this little doll hat. Just thought I would show how I make a doll hat. Um, in case anyone was interested in making one for any size doll. It, um, you just make it a, to fit your doll and there's no right or wrong way to do this oops so I'm going to try this on top of my little doll's head and see if it looks like it's going to fit her before I start coming down the side I need to do one more single crochet okay all right so uh oh I meant to pull my stitch out some. Okay. So I'm just going to take my little doll and put this on her head. And that is almost the good size. But I'm going to go one more round of increase to get it a little bit bigger to fit her a little bit better. So for this next round, I'm going to... Um, increase and then I'm going to do three single crochets in a row one two and three and they're all in a separate stitch so I've actually used four stitches I have an increase which is two stitches here and then three single crochets right here all in a row so that's it gives me five stitches here but I only used four stitches of the round before because an increase and then one in the next 
one in the next, and one in the next. Gives three in a row. It doesn't take long to make these little hats. It's something really quick. And it can complement, you know, a little outfit. So what are you guys up to today besides your projects or something you may be working on? What else you got going on in your life? Um, I need to get my stuff together for the hospital because I'll be checking in the hospital tomorrow at 11 a.m. in Shreveport for a trial test. So, um, that's what I'll be doing this evening. I need to wash clothes. I need to wash up my clothes and get, um, my stuff together. I want to take a crochet project, uh, because I'll just be in the hospital all day Thursday, all night Thursday, and then sometime Friday I would get discharged. So, let me see. I think this size would fit her perfectly. So, what I'm going to do now for this next row is I need to just go straight down the sides. So, I'm going to go into the back loop only and just do a row of single crochets all the way around. Back loop only. So I don't know what crochet project I'm taking with me just yet, but um, I don't want to take like a big blanket that I'm already working on. I want to take something smallish, but I don't know what that is just yet. <laughs> I have to figure that out. I may. I don't really want to start a new project either, but I want to take something that I can work on work on in the car if need be or you know in my hospital room as I sit there all day Thursday I don't know I might be sleeping who knows I, I have no idea I've never done this before they are going to give me a shot of morphine in my spine and the reason why we're doing this is because it will bypass um everything else like this like if you take medicine by mouth it goes into your stomach and dissolves and then it has to um absorb and all that you know and if you, you get a shot um it has to go you know go into your bloodstream and all this so we're bypassing all that and it's going to go right into my spine and um i shouldn't have it should affect a little differently i'm nervous about it i am because i don't really know what to expect going in that back loop only um, it should be turning down just a little bit that should make a ridge and the top part of the hat will be flat I'm trying to All right, and so this next row, I'm just going to do a single crochet, but this time I'm going to go through both of the loops all the way around. I 
So yes, if this trial does go well and the morphine does help um, going into the spine like that, the next step would be to schedule surgery for a pain pump to be inserted into like the side of my abdomen and it would have a little tube that runs and it's threaded through to my spine and then I would have this pump in my side this little metal pump it's a circular disc thing and it would um, continuously give me morphine To help with the chronic all body pain now I don't have back pain so that's not why I'm getting a shot in the back I have um, whole body pain just my whole whole body because I have lots of health issues with um, lupus scleroderma and all this kind of stuff you know crest sojourns Addison's disease yeah I have a lot <laughs> I have stuff that you know I don't sometimes talk about but I deal with a lot of pain chronic daily pain and Reynolds is one of them that's why I've lost my fingers okay so that's two rows down the side um, and you can just try, keep trying your hat on your doll's head to see how many rows you want to come down the side of your doll's head. I already know that I want to do four rows of this. So this is my row three right here. It's a pretty, pretty day out there. and I haven't been outside. <laughs> but I can tell. I've opened the door a few times to let my little Chihuahua Phoebe in and out. To go potty. So I have opened the door a few times. But I haven't actually been outside. Um, I can look and see everything going on outside on my um, security screen 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 <laughs> the cameras um, show on a screen here right in front of me and so I've been watching raccoons we have two persimmon trees and the raccoons have been coming every day all day long and all night long come into those trees to eat persimmons so I've been watching the, them today they scurry out of the woods from across the road um, run up a tree and get them some persimmons and hang out in the tree for a while and then they come back down and go, scurry back across the road So, I've been sitting here watching them. <laughs> okay, so this was round three. One, two, three. And I want to go one more round. Lord be. <laughs> I still gotta do that last stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna do one more round. So I have four rounds coming down the side of the head, and you just have to take your doll and just hold it up and decide if you need two rounds down three four five maybe you need to increase a lot more to fit the top of your doll's head what? 
Phoebe, there's nobody out there, baby. This, I'm going to finish with my round four, and then I'm going to make a brim on the hat. there okay last stitch for me I'm just hanging out today. Big Daddy's going to work late today because he will be taking off two days of work for, you know, my hospital stay in Shreveport, which is, Shreveport's about two and a half hours drive for us by the time we stop for bathroom breaks, you know. It takes us two and a half hours to get there. Okay, so on this next round, I'm going to work on the brim. So I'm going to work in the front loop only and not the back loop. Um, all right, so I'm going to work in the front loop only, and I'm going to increase in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next, and increase. And then one single crochet in the next. And increase in the next. One single crochet in the next. Still working in front loop only. So just alternating increases and not increases. Kitty, kitty, what do you got? I don't know. <laughs> oh, so that was one, two, and that, that was an increase. So the next one is just a single crochet. Oops. And now an increase. Okay. this cat's got down here I can't never see I'm sure it's something of mine that she has stolen <laughs> it's sissy the black and white cat she's a little sneaky okay that was an increase 
So the next one is just one. And an increase. And back to just one. So September is almost over. Like it has flown by. September the 20th. Today. And it just seems to have flown by. Do you have plans for this fall? We don't have any plans. Um. Not that I'm aware of. I've been seeing reports about like you're having real harsh winters this year. I don't know about that. Um, I did order me a new electric throw blanket to have here at my desk. I got one last year and that thing did not last. I ordered it from Amazon and it... It only lasted a few months, like just long enough where you can't like send it back or anything. <laughs> and so I went ahead and got a new one for this year. Um, I looked on there and they had them like really cheap, like I think it was $17 regular like almost 30 and it's been a while a little while since I ordered that so I don't know if they're still on sale or not but I was just you know thinking about this winter and staying warm so um, I looked and saw that they were um, you know had them at a ridiculously cheap price so I went ahead and ordered me one to have here at my desk keep me and Phoebe warm because she wants to wrap up in that in the winter time too <laughs> okay so you can see how it's coming out as a brim but I want my brim to be a little bigger so on this next round I'm gonna go through both sets of loops front and back and I'm doing an increase and then I'm gonna do a single crochet in the next and a single crochet in the neck. So that's two single crochets. Increase. And then two single crochets. Increase. And then a single crochet. And a single crochet and I think this is going to be my last round for this for this little hat the brim I don't want it to be too big I think this will be perfect and now I lost my track I lost my <laughs> I lost what I was doing there is that an increase Sometimes I have to pull them back out to figure out where my last increase was. I'm not even seeing an increase. I know I did some. Okay, that one is definitely an increase. and then an increase one two increase one two 
and an increase. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. Okay. Get this last round done, and then her little blue hat will be finished. Um, increase one, two. finished And then one <clears throat> and two. And if your round doesn't work out exactly like that, uh, because we started with an increase, you should end with, you know, a single crochet. It doesn't matter. It's just a little doll hat. Okay. So that is the her hat. And so to tie off I'm just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then chain one I'm going to cut me a tail to weave in yeah so as you're making a doll hat just keep trying it on the doll that you're making it for I think that's really cute on her you just keep keep trying it on the doll to get the right size I kind of already knew um, how many rounds I was doing because this isn't my first hat to make for her Just gonna weave this end in here just a little I don't it's just a doll hat I don't think she's gonna be too rough with it but I always do make sure my um, needle is not showing on this side before I pull through all the way Yeah, I don't think she'll be too rough with her hat. Now, if the cats get a hold of it, that's a whole other story. It will be destroyed, and I will have to make another one. <laughs> and then I'm going to 
clip off my beginning tail. Stretch my brim out a little bit. And there we go. Miss Penny Bright has a new hat to go with her little dress with blue in it. So there we go. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I crocheted a little hat and just showed how I go about making a hat for any size doll. It doesn't matter the size of the doll or the size of the yarn or the size of the hook you have to use. If you use that little, um, just holding it on the doll and seeing how you, you know, how big you need to make it, you can make a hat for any size doll. Alright guys, I'm going to let you get going. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember, it's a beautiful day to crochet, friends. See you all in the next video.